Hey everybody, my name is Courtney and I am one of the co-founders of Dandelion Branding. Welcome to our channel. At Dandelion Branding, we work with sustainable brands to help with digital marketing and website optimization. And so on this channel, we make videos about digital marketing education and certain aspects of website optimization, like our video today. We also have a podcast called Environmental, where we research and investigate different issues surrounding sustainability. So if that interests you, then definitely subscribe to this channel. Today, our video is going to be all about a program that I love. It's called Elementor. This is a WordPress page builder. And it is just incredibly intuitive and user friendly and allows for really anyone, any level of tech knowledge to put together a really, really cool site. It allows for so much flexibility and customization, which is incredible when it comes to building a site for your brand. And we just highly, highly recommend this program. So I wanted to kind of show you guys around the back end, show you how it works, all of the widgets that comes with it and everything like that. So if you are building a WordPress site of your own and you are looking to really customize it and build something really unique and that really represents your visual branding, then Elementor is a great program for that. So let's jump into the back end and I'll start showing you around. All right, so welcome to the back end. This is um, our sister business, Living Brand Directory. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna use this account to show you around our <laughs> Elementor. So likely the first place that you're gonna start is, is by creating a page. Um, and so that's where I will begin. I'm gonna click on pages here. This is the back end of WordPress. Um, and then I'm going to click add new. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click this edit with Elementor button up here. And we're now going to see for the first time kind of the interface of Elementor. I'm gonna move my little face here. Um, I do want to make it clear that I am utilizing Elementor Pro. Elementor itself does have a free version, but it is very limited. You'll see if you do start with Elementor, um, there are not a whole lot of different widgets you can use. Everything essentially within this basic section here is what you are given when you um install the free Elementor plugin. Um, but if you're utilizing, you know, if you want to incorporate incorporate a blog or an image gallery or um, really any other kind of customization besides like text and spaces and buttons and pictures, you'll go, you're going to want to go with Elementor Pro. It is still incredibly affordable in terms of a page builder and for the amount that you are getting. So um, it, it's definitely worth the price. And with Elementor Pro, you actually get to have um, three websites within your one license. Um, currently, the pricing for Elementor Pro is $99 US per year. Um, and that does give you the ability to have three websites on that one license that you're purchasing every year. So yeah, um, typically when you are working with new pages, um, you your page will have the header and the footer already there for you. And then you're kind of working on what's in the middle. Um, but there are some different options within Elementor to remove those elements if perhaps you want to build a different type of page. Um, and everything that we're going to interact with today is on this left-hand bar. 
every single piece. Um, so I'm going to start over here. I'm going to click on this little gear icon and go to settings. And we have this option here, page layout. This is a really handy button <laughs> um, or a little menu rather. Um, so default page layout means this will likely take on the overall look of your theme. Um, if you are utilizing a built a pre-built WordPress theme, then that default will be kind of what your theme comes with. Um, for the most part though, I found that it can be challenging to find a theme that like perfectly communicates your brand. So I think that that's really one of the strengths of Elementor is that it allows for you to actually kind of build your own theme. Um, Elementor has its own, its own theme that's called Hello. And that is really just sort of an super open-ended theme that allows for you to utilize Elementor as the main um, program that is controlling your fonts, your um, color, um, the background of your site overall. And so if you are utilizing Elementor, um, it could be really beneficial to use the Hello theme that they've created just to kind of have a blank slate so that you can really utilize Elementor to create a lot of your designs. Um, and yeah, so these different buttons here, Elementor Canvas, I'm going to click on this. So this means that there's no header, no footer. It is just Elementor. And this can be useful if you are wanting to create a, a landing page, a direct sales page, um, an email sign up page, something that has like one singular focus. Um, those landing pages typically don't have um, a header or a footer because you will want people to really zone in on that one singular offer or element that you that you want people to engage with. And so when you're making landing pages, this is a great page layout to choose. And then theme here is a kind of going to also be a default um, choice. But if you have maybe Elementor has some certain defaults and your theme has different defaults, then you have that that choice and um, that would make a difference for you perhaps. But for this example, I've built this theme within Elementor and all of my design elements and all of my um, kind of typography and color, um, all of the site settings um, are all built within Elementor. So um, the default and the theme oh, page layouts here are the same. So I'm going to keep this with default here. I'm going to click on these three lines up here. And within Elementor Pro, this is where a lot of your um, overall site design settings come from. So the color palette, this is the color, our, our brand colors for Living Brand Directory. Um, I've set all of these. I'm just going into add color here, putting in the hex code, naming it the appropriate name, and I'm um, going to go ahead and delete that. And just in short, making sure I incorporate all the brand colors. And you'll see once we're playing with um, different elements, why this comes in handy to have them noted here as the global site colors. And the same with fonts. Um, you can choose your primary fonts. This is going to be for like headings and such. Um, main text, this is for body fonts and anything that maybe is an accent. Um, you can add within Elementor Pro, you can add custom fonts as well. You can add um, any Google fonts that you've downloaded or really if you've purchased any fonts or anything like that, you can completely add them, um, which is great. So that's that's yeah, you can make something that's really entirely customizable to your brand. And you can I you can also update the defaults for really every element. So your body text, 
Um, if you click this little pencil here, you can make that choice for what you'd like that to be a size default. Um, hover all of those things. Um, you have a lot of, of control here. You can make it, you can make your defaults really any color, anything. Um, so I want to click on this little globe icon here. This is something that is really going to come in handy. This is um, where those global fonts come into play. So where we just were in global fonts, assigning these what these primary uh, and secondary text fonts are. Um, you'll see those options here when you click on that little globe icon. And then also when it comes to colors, when you click that globe, now you see all of those global colors that we've assigned as well. So um, that's really why that comes in handy because it kind of just gives you a short list of all of the presets that you've already created. Um, so you don't have to like go searching through the font list every single time. Um, definitely saves you some time. <laughs> So if you have your brand colors and your fonts decided upon for your brand, highly recommend that you include those in the site settings here. Um, that's just going to make building your site a lot easier. And it also ensures that things remain consistent across all of your different pages. You can add in your favicon and your site logo. Fantastic for making your site really nice and branded. Background, um, if you want to add a specific color to the background of all of your pages or even an image, then you have that option. You can add all of your default colors or you can add any, any color here that you can add the hex code. Um, pretty much all of your like save, publish, update buttons are going to be right here for Elementor. So that makes it really nice and simple. And again, on this left hand bar, this is where all of the different widgets live. So this is a drag and drop page builder. And what that means is I'm going to click on a widget and I'm going to drag it and I'm going to drop it. Yeah, so essentially you can start building your page by just clicking and dragging elements. These are spacers. Um, this will automatically add what's called sections onto your page. You can add really unlimited little widgets into your sections. Um, but everything within one section, um, for the most part, kind of has it's all within one block. So if you were to change the width of this block, it would change the width of all of the elements that are within there. Um, for example, if I was to add an additional column, because this, as of right now, this section has just one column, right? There's just one set here, but I can right click on this column, which has the dash kind of border around it to show that it is an individual column, you can right click and you can add a new column. So now we have this secondary column here where we can also add certain elements. Um, and take a look at the different types of buttons you can create. Ooh. You can also change the size. Every element has all sorts of editing abilities over here. Once you're actually clicked on that that, that specific element. So um, you're going to click on the little pencil icon for anything. You would add your text over here. You could also type on top here. Um, that's totally fine. Here, okay, I'm just typing. <laughs> um, one thing I do want to note that is if you are copying and pasting things, um, sometimes it if you copy and paste something directly onto the page here, um, it can get a little funky because it actually is pasting the um, kind of 
the the code and versus if you were to just utilize this left hand column and paste in here um, that eliminates that potential issue so I always really um, want to encourage you to just use this over on the left hand side and if this is a bit too small you can always extend this um, you can also extend this area here um, makes it a little bit easier to see so um, that's a little bit about columns. If we go back to these, these nine squares here, you will see all of the widgets again. Um, an intersection is additional columns within our one column. Totally have the ability to do that. That gives it gives you a lot of really, really interesting kind of options and you know subsections of your site um and you can you know you can as you're hovering and uh dragging these elements over you'll see this blue line that appears and that kind of gives you an indication of where this element will fall so if i'm trying to get it into this little subsection i want to hover right over there just to see that it will go in there but I can also click this uh, pencil icon and continue to drag it around and move it to the appropriate place where, where I want to place it. Um, within columns, you also have the ability to click these different, the, the dashed lines and shift the overall size of that column. Um, if you click on this upper right hand icon here, you are taken to the kind of overall layout options. Um, and that's where you have the ability to change the width to any number that you'd like between one and 100. This is a percentage. Um, this is great uh, and, and really just really easy to use and allows for you to make uh, unique changes on the column width size for the different devices. Um, one thing I just absolutely love about Elementor is how mobile responsive it is and how easy it is to make edits based on the different devices. You can really just click on this little icon and click on mobile and now all of a sudden you're seeing a mobile view and you can see how these elements really kind of interact with each other, how they stack um, this comes in handy definitely when you're working with large images or image backgrounds that you want to make sure that um, nothing's kind of layered on top of and, and covering things up. I'm going to go back to the full width desktop view and yeah, so as again, there's all sorts of different elements here. Priceless, it's so much fun to kind of play around with these, see what they look like, see what you can interact with, um, see what edits you can make. There's really an endless amount of time that you can spend kind of clicking around and playing around with these elements. Um, and I highly recommend that you take some time if you are um, new to Elementor to really kind of just place each of these on a test page like this and just see what they do. Um, Cause a lot of them are really fun. <laughs> and again, no one's gonna see what we're doing here. So it's totally okay. Um, I love this one, the animated headline. This is great. But then we have um, this style tab here. This is where you can choose different colors. You can choose if you want to change up the typography. And then we have advanced tab here. And this is if you're comfortable kind of working with margins and padding, then um, this is where a lot of that stuff or all of that stuff lives. This is also where you'll find um, motion effects. If you want certain elements to move in from different parts of the screen, um, let's see, for example, let's take a look at this star. Let's see. So I want this star to 
slide in from the right hand side of the page. So that would be an entrance animation. And let's see, zoom in, zoom in right. Let's see, is that what I wanted? Let's see, slide in right. Ooh, that's probably more what um, I'm interested in. And so I just slowed it down. You can change it, make it real fast too. Let's go with slow, just for our example here. And you'll see this little um, carrot icon that, um, that actually hides this panel, which is nice to kind of get a lay of like what, you, what you've done. Um, that's kind of a nice kind of like preview without having to actually preview. Um, there is just a remarkable amount of customization that you can do here. Um, it's something I love in particular is this responsive tab. So this means that uh, I can click on really any element and say, I wanna hide that on desktop um, or any device type. And then when you were actually previewing that page, because this is desktop and I just said hide that element on desktop, I don't see it. But if we were to change the view, which we can do down here in responsive mode and click on this mobile, I'm gonna minimize that to preview. See, because this is mobile, I do see it. Because this is tablet, I also see it. And then on desktop, I don't. That is such a useful tool, especially when you are um, working to make things mobile responsive. Um, in particular for things that are in multiple columns or perhaps they're, you know, you need to uh, swap where images are, things like that, um, so that they're laying properly and stacking properly on mobile this function of hiding particular things on mobile versus desktop and tablet is so critically important. It's so, so useful. And then once you're ready, let's say, you can click publish and right down here and your page will be published live. You can also save it as a draft if you're not yet ready to make it live. Um, and you can also save it as a template if this was something that you were building that you might want to utilize for other pages or have this entire layout again to you to use in another way. Saving it as a template is super, super handy. And I'll show you now what that what templates kind of look like for Elementor. Um, templates are what this section is. So. Um, of course, this is where I was sort of dragging images and this kind of just shows you, gives you some options. You can select different preset structures for columns, or you can click on this icon and get all of the templates. Elementor Pro comes with an insane amount of incredible templates for pages. It is kind of it's phenomenal. Um, it is really, really nice um, when you are building things and moving quickly and you want all of your pages to have the same format. Um, if you really like these page templates, they can be so, so useful as just kind of a jumping off point to really you, you know that the page is built in a really strong kind of visual way. And so from there, you can then make changes to, of course, the copy and to the images that are that are there on those on those templates. Um, but you know that it is, you know, it's, it's going to be a, a page template that like works well. So if I wanted to incorporate one of these templates, then essentially what I would do is just like find one. Okay, this one looks nice. So I'm hovering over that and I see the button that says insert. So I'm gonna insert it. So this little pop-up will always show, don't worry. Essentially what this is saying is your page template has it's, is set up in a very specific way. Do you want all of those settings that are on that template 
to come through to your page or do you just want like the template itself to be added in a separate section? Um, and this is important to kind of note because if you've already made a lot of edits to the page and you click yes, that will override, that's what this attention, it will override your previous settings. So just something to note um, because I haven't like played around with this page much more than just throwing some random widgets in there. I'm totally cool with saying yes. Take some moments. Aha. So basically just adds your entire template um, to below whatever you were working on before. So to delete these sections, you can just click that X. And now I've got this little page here. So let's take a look at what's going on. And it, this can be a really fun way to actually kind of see what Elementor is capable of, right? To use some of, use some of these templates, just to kind of see what, how they've built these so that you can kind of uh, see if something like that would work for your own site and just to kind of get inspiration to see like what's going on here, you know, like what are they, what are they, what are they using to get these to display in this way, to get this to show up and interact in this way? Um, and so if you are wanting to kind of inspect how things are built, this down here, this navigator can be a really nice tool. And what this is, is it, it, it shows you the exact layout of the page and all of the elements and all of the sub elements in the different sections. And um, so you can really kind of in, investigate <laughs> how these were built. Um, and that can really help kind of spark some creativity. And that's really why it is such a user friendly and tool for folks who are, you know, new business owners, if you're DIYing your own site, but you still want something that looks really nice and modern and sleek, having these preset templates um, in your back pocket is really, really helpful and really fun and just kind of streamlines the process of building a site. So, yeah, if you are building a WordPress site and you want something that allows for you to have a little bit more freedom and flexibility and be able to do some really fun, creative things, then Elementor is definitely a great program to check out. And yeah, I hope that this was helpful, give you a little bit of a tour so you're comfortable kind of clicking and moving things, adding different elements and your left hand bar is where all of the customization and things can come into play. You can mess with sizing, you can mess again with motion effects and get some really pretty advanced, cool, creative things going on. So have fun, happy customization, and um, always be sure to test on all device types. So <laughs> I will see you next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. All right. Bye-bye.